Hey there everyone, this is Lao Cal playing some VIP 3 and my controller is stuck behind my crutches. And, um, uh, I probably should have set myself up a bit earlier, shouldn't I? Anyways, yeah, last time we finished World, um, World 4, so now we're ready to start World 3. This is logic happening at 33 miles an hour here. Let's just go ahead and... Oh, 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 that's my apple bag. Yeah, I got some apples for lunch. That's just amazing. So now we're starting World 3. Absent minded Jungle is the name. And here we are. It's already a red level. That's great. Bustling Sea of Trees. I think that's a pretty good, actually, description of them out there. Oh my god, that's a nice background. That is a nice background. That's a background uh, you, you can marry. There's the lock, it's very hard to find, as you can see, it's right there. And there's a Koopa, as you can see, it's very hard to find, it's right there. Transparent for some reason, that's a spiny, and that's just Danny, I'm going to... Hey there, Yoshi. So yeah, I was about to talk about an action, but it kind of transformed into a salutation to a certain specific smelly green thing. Maybe we'll have to go down there later for a secret exit? Only the neighborhood gentlemen know small little ledges that we can just avoid because that's the horse that we like to ignore. That was a very short stage now, was it not? Of course, we're going from World 4 to World 3, so maybe we're meant to expect some sort of differentiation and difficulty. But I don't care. Normally we'd go over there, but we're not because we need to go and find the secret. The secret is in a place. I am suspecting it to be in the yellow block there. Well, probably to a hidden sarfaka guy, sarfa phosphate. See, that's why they're giving us horse guy and uh, and a uh, horse guy and also capes to to enable us to more readily be able to go at that lower region. I'm still trying to. Like, all the pipes like a good old uh, goat boy scout lost in the forbidden zones. Is it down here? I guess. Let's put a safe state here to make the trip that much less annoying. Okay, so let's do it this way. It is not here. Do it this way. We go behind the ledge and now we fall and there is Fento. How do you do? And it's the other one that pursues me, but that's okay. Now we need to hurry. Hurrying up is what we do. There's a Fento after me. Although we've encountered Fentos earlier in this very same hack, so... So, that's a demo. See that, uh, Danger is afoot, Mr. Robinson, so, so watch out. It's a Fanto, and he's nice and smiley, and his face is half one color and half another. The ledges are, or you could say, backwards. I am not concerned with such trivial matter. Clawing our way through the underbushes, and that's where I'm gonna start. Uh, this would be called Interior of the Forest. I guess we're just digging deeper inside the... Oh my, that is one nice background. Also for restraint for no reason. Whoa, okay, so yeah, this is a very nice background. There's nothing else to say about the background other than it's very... N oh my god, random paracoupa. Watch out for that train. It is angry and will not take you, even if you have the required tickets. So there's a springboard here for some reason that is probably going to find itself to be evident sooner or later. I guess that jump would have been, had been difficult had I not had a cape and there's a hole probably behind that tree and that's just amazing and I'm glad to be sharing with that. There's a coin there I just want a life even though I'm filled with li lives live your life to the fullest to the meanest and in inside a curricular activity. So now I am capeless so once again the game becomes balanced and I need to deal with my adversaries with uh, rampant violence in a complete disregard for proper etiquette when visiting a doctor for the first time. You tell your whoa that train is on the gravy train I guess uh, it, it's pretty rare that you see a train riding another train so if you ever get to see that you know cherish the moment please wow okay so I guess this is all hey let's be annoying for the sake of being annoying and if we're nice enough maybe we'll get candy can I jump up there no I guess not so these trees they are hidden trees they are trees 
of steak and sorrow. So you need to watch out about that. You know, the, the trees want you to be carnivorous because that means you'll be eating less of their buddies. Right, Charlie? Let's see you agree by stuffing your face down your uh, breastplate there. That, that doesn't sound like a safe procedure. That's a demo. That's a demo. Diplomas and trains, the two cruelest of factions in this war zone we like to call life. Yay! Wow, that sure was a stage. Yeah, I've... Vip has a problem with forest levels of having somewhat um, generic stages, you could say. But that is something we simply must film and keep for prosperity. Now we are over here, another yellow level that I like to call... Boyoyoyoyong! Oyster adds, F word if I know, yes, that is what it says. It is, appears to be, a sound effect. I, I'm guessing it is the sound effect of something that is bouncy. At least that's what it reminds me. At least we get to have a panoply. Oh no, is it the sound effect of the freaking bouncy thing? This is the sound of bouncing. We are in freaking bounce land. I am not cherishing that thought. But whatever, I guess jungles can be associated with the act of bouncing. Just have to not ask what you can do for America, but ask what America can do for you. Because honestly, it's your country, and, it, and thus it is its responsibility to, to, to do stuff for you. That's how ownership works. Otherwise, why would you want a country if it's not to profit from it? I mean, seriously, try to look at things logically. There's probably something here. Oh my god, I never would have guessed. I am Mr. Happy Clam, and I'm going to voyage through time in a great peace of mind that I like to call a big old piece of fruit basket that's delicious and filled with citrus. Citrus, world's most perfect fruit. Pass it on. So, uh, this is nice to see a little bipartisan pipe there. Half blue, half gray. Oh man, what? That makes no sense, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this is the castle of. Not is a castle, but is actually a forest. Also, it's filled with bouncy stuff, and I. I guess I need to find a thing here. Watch out there, friend! You're going to hurt your neighbor if you do it like that. Well, there's another node log, and there's another node log. This is freaking nor. North and Southwest Palooza, whatever that means. There we go. I knew a solution was to be found in the confines of the future, hidden somewhere behind the letters A and R, which stands for, for, um, howdy. How do you do? It's just that the person that wrote those letters has no idea how grammar works. Yeah, so a slowdown is a big piece of uh, bouncing. It is not a fact that is known by a lot of people. Bouncing, stuff bouncing off cement does not sound the same as stuff bouncing off of sound or, or, or squishy things, I suppose. That, that shell there is... Oh, wow, how did I manage to jump there? I mean, honestly, that was like, hello there, I am, I, I'm feeling like I haven't died enough yet. So I just want to, you know, wow, that, that, that was a sneak attack on Charlie. Let's sneak attack on Charlie. That's not a very nice thing to do, though. Don't sneak attack your neighbors if possible, because otherwise they will think you are a bad person and might call you names. And I just wouldn't be able to live with the thought. So now to press the switch here, cut a vine, and then we are almost died by the guy. But that's okay, because it's not a guy, but a shell. I guess it wants me to go here, here, and so here is where I go. Whoa, there were some munchy plants there in the bottom, but unfortunately, they are to starve even more, for I am safely passing right above their head. There's little nectar of notes here, Palooza, all shaking and dancing. And, well, after going through the forest, we're just shoving a big old tree over, so we have a way to get back. Uh, just, I'll see you guys.